Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jody with COD Outdoors. We're out here in uh, beautiful West Virginia. It's a very hot day. Temperature's up around 90, and it feels like a whole lot hotter than that. And it's super dry. I've got a couple 22 pistols with me. I've got a Heritage Rough Rider, six shooter, Western style, single action, revolver. And then I've got a Phoenix Arms, 22 automatic. 10 shot that's what we're gonna be doing here right now guys as you can see there's a target right behind me that's all she wrote for that one This is the first group I shot, guys. As you can see, I held dead center in the red. And all this grouping here is over to the left and down. So I'm gonna have to compensate for that. So I'm gonna hold right here, high and right. And that should compensate for the error in the aiming. Right here, I'm just showing the front sight and the rear uh, sight window. To the way to aim this gun it's pretty simple basic iron sights right here this gun has it has two clicks guys which frees up the cylinder and gives you uh, access to load your ammo you just open this side swing out here the one i'm shooting is cci 22 long rifle and at this time i'm just loading the gun Putting in six rounds. This is a six shot revolver. It's very simple, very basic gun. Single action, which means with every shot you have to pull the hammer back. There, I just closed. After loading, just closed that. This is the safety. When it's up, the safety's on. Now I'm just releasing the hammer, freeing it up until we're ready to fire. This noise you hear guys is the corruption I had. It was all through the video and it got a lot worse in other areas. That's why I had to do a lot of voiceover. Okay, it's the same procedure to unload the gun, to unload the spent shells. You just pull the hammer back till it clicks twice, open the window, and just kick out those shells, guys. Okay, this is the second grouping. After compensating for the low and left, we held in this area. And as you can see, we had three shots in the red and a couple that were just sporadic so holding up compensated for the error in the aiming here's the 22 automatic guys you can see now that it's clear and open no shells 10 shot clip load the clip on the bottom this gun has double safeties it's got one on the handle and one on the top and it also has a hammer as well and to release, to put a shell in the chamber, you just pull down on this safety and let the slide move forward. And at this time, I'm going to leave the top safety on and just release the hammer down until it's time to shoot. Now I'm putting the safety off so the gun's ready to fire. Pull the hammer back just this one time. We won't have to pull it back anymore until we're done firing. This is the first grouping for the automatic guys. You can see that it's kind of sporadic, just hitting all over the place. So I've circled those 
and we got one in the red this gun has a really short barrel so at that distance it was very sporadic just shooting all over the target we'll see what happens this time i really don't know how to adjust because it's hitting sporadic so i'm gonna aim dead center still see what happens These circled shots were the first group. This is the other group. We got one, looks like two in the red here. One here, one here, and one here. So, stayed a little bit more central the closer I got. They do offer a longer barrel for this gun and a longer clip, which gives you a grip for your pinky. Uh, you guys feel free to critique my shooting. That's fine. They let me know how I may be able to do better if you see anything I'm doing wrong. I'm not an expert. I don't shoot a whole lot, but I do like to shoot, but I don't shoot a whole lot, so be uh, merciful. <laughs> All right, guys, let's fire a few more rounds before we get out of here. Well, it looks like I hit it one time out of six. Right through the through the top there. I exited the back. And I barely touched it with a piece of lead right there. So, you know, it's going to take some practice. It's going to take a little bit of critiquing on the sights and getting a better feel for the gun. I shot a few rounds through it, not a lot, but I do like the gun. I like the feel of it. I like the old style. And I also like the, the automatic, which does have an adjustable sight, so we'll have to get that fine-tuned on another day, guys. But anyway, thanks for coming along on this test comparison. Appreciate you clicking on the video. Thanks for all my new subscribers, and thanks for coming today. Have a blessed day. In Jesus' name.